Bembridge with its endlessly intriguing beach, nest building swans and self draining harbour has been a great place to start. But the boat is as ready as she can be, within my budget that is, and it's time to set off on the short 12 mile hop across the Solent. The weather is producing a series of short sharp squalls, some of them predicted to be up to a force 7. And generally if the kite surfers are out I stay in port. But other people are getting ready to leave and the wind is from the west. So as soon as there's enough water in the channel that snakes its way out into the open water it's time to start on the first leg of my 2000 mile journey around Britain. I guess this is sort of the start of the journey. Am I nervous? Yes. Is it windy out there in the Solent? Yes. Are there loads of yachts out there racing with full rigs up? Yes. So I'll be all right. The Solent is four or five miles across and around 20 long from Keyhaven in the west to Chichester Harbour in the east. The shape gives Southampton an odd double high tide, the second appearing about an hour after the first. Very useful for a busy shipping port. In the Solent there's lots of ship traffic to contend with, not just the cruise liners and cargo vessels but also the car ferries and sea cats shuttling back and forth between the island and the mainland plus literally thousands of yachts from the marinas all around the coast. But today most of the yachties have listened to the weather forecast and wisely decided to stay in port. Under a reefed jib and with 20 knots up the transom we're making good progress. Four and a half knots, even with the dinghy tugging on the painter. But some of the squalls look pretty intimidating. I've been offered a mooring at Itchener Sailing Club, tucked away in Chichester Harbour. And the harbour is a wonderful place with extensive mud flats, saltings and thousands of sinuous channels. By the time I get there the squalls have gone and the sun is out. Itchina Reach is a marvellously tranquil spot, but it is now rather cluttered with moored boats. The ones by the club are absolute classics. In Tudor times Itchener was a shipbuilding community. The biggest ever made here was a 50 metre long warship that carried 44 cannons. And even in Itchener today people are still outnumbered by boats at least 3 to 1. They're everywhere, not just on the moorings along the rivers but scattered all over the hard and the dinghy park and drives all over the place. They peer at you from behind hedges. Nowadays the village is what the estate agents would describe as an excellent community. There appears to be no shortage of money in Itchina. And plenty of kindness too. After all, he gave me a free mooring. As is so often the case, after a good blow, it was a very, very quiet night and we've got a beautiful sunrise. The next morning the moorings are alive with activity as the racers come down for the first competition of the season.
It's too good a chance to miss, so I slip my own mooring and motor down to watch the start. Then it's back to the eastern end of the Solent, turning left towards Littlehampton, 20 odd miles away to the east. Oh, it does look a bit black behind. Oh, here comes a big wave. 